children so today we will start with a new chapter that is chapter number 12 electricity and circuit now first of all quick introduction just by pressing a switch we can operate devices isn't it all the things you can operate electric bulbs fan television sets anything which you want to turn on you have to press a switch isn't it all these comforts are provided by a type of energy called as electricity until unless you don't have electric current at your home switches will work no so you should have electricity so electricity can produce light also heat also and even make machine work so electricity is a type of power isn't it now let us go through what it is each and everything in the world is made up of tiny particle known as atom okay children everything it is the smallest unit okay it is atom every atom consist of a nucleus jaise hamari body mein cells hote hain aise baki sab cheezon mein every tiny particle there is atom it has a nucleus see in this diagram it has a nucleus okay and electrons protons so in the nucleus there is neutron where there is no charge protons which is positively charged and electrons which are running in an orb orbit just like planets are running in orbit all around the sun in the solar system similarly the atom is also made in the same way okay so these are negatively charged electrons move from one atom to another electrons may go from one atom to another of that element this movement of electric charges produces electric current for now you shall understand how electricity is produced or current is produced to ye jo atom hota hai aur iski jo ye shell outer orbit mein electrons hain ye electron ek atom ko chhod ke dusre atom ke paas ja rahe hain tab electric current produce hota hai electric current or electricity is the flow of movement of electric charges in an electric wire abhi hame pata hai copper wire mein electric current ja raha hai to yani ki wo jo copper wire है उसके एट, वो एटम से बना हुआ है पार्टिकल से बना हुआ है छोटे छोटे कॉपर के तो वो उसमें जो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैं वो एक एटम से दूसरे एटम में छलांग मारते हैं तो वहां पे जो एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस होती है चार्जेस प्रोड्यूस होते हैं उससे इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस बोलते हैं ओके The electricity which we use in our houses to operate domestic appliances is known as electric power or AC power. ठीक है AC supply. This electricity is produced at power stations. Yes, we all know that with the help of electric cables held in the electric poles, it is derived to our house. Transformers लगे रहते हैं बच्चों. AC current, हाँ, direct current. ओके अल्टरनेट करंट इन एसी इज फॉर अल्टरनेट करंट डीसी इज फॉर डायरेक्ट करंट सम इलेक्ट्रिक गैरेज लाइक टॉर्च एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक टॉयज डू नॉट ऑपरेट ऑन एसी पावर्स ये डायरेक्ट करंट से आपने बैटरी लगा दी सीधा करंट आ गया पर हमारे घर में डायरेक्ट करंट नहीं होता है वरना सारे गैजेट्स हमारे जल जाएंगे हाँ तो ए सी करंट होता है अल्टरनेट करंट तो ट्रांसफार्मर में से जितनी पावर हमारे घर में चाहिए उतना ही आता है नाउ लेटेस्ट सी अबाउट दिस बैटरी सबके घर में है बैटरी इसके पास क्या क्या है मेटल कैप है पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल हम लोग देख के लगाते हैं नेगेटिव टर्मिनल देख के लगाते हैं और ये कोटिंग है बच्चों इसको बोलते हैं मेटालिक कोटिंग एंड दिस इज अ मेटालिक बेस ओके नाउ यू कैन से इट एज द पेंसिल सेल और द ड्राई सेल तो हम लोग इनको किस में यूज करते हैं क्लॉक्स कैलकुलेटर्स फोन इज इन टेट सो द वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ एन इलेक्ट्रिक सेल इज शोन इन दिस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू फिगर It has a metallic covering with a small metal cap on one side, which is labeled as the positive side of the cell, and the other one is the negative side of the cell. So these are called as positive terminal and negative terminal. There are some chemicals inside the cell. अब इसके अंदर क्या है? तो तोड़ के तो देखना नहीं है. But when they are manufactured, then we can see that there are chemicals around there. Now, electricity or electric current is produced by a cell when 
the change charges produced by the chemicals in it are made to move through it क्या हो रहा है करंट कैसे प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है जब चार्जेस प्रोड्यूस हो रहे हैं चार्जेस कैसे प्रोड्यूस हो रहे हैं जो इस बैटरी के अंदर केमिकल है उन केमिकल्स में रिएक्शन हो रहा है और जब एटम अपने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स छोड़ रहे हैं तो क्या हो रहा है चार्ज प्रोड्यूस हो रहा है चार्ज मतलब क्या पॉजिटिव या फिर नेगेटिव चार्ज होता है सो दीज चार्जेज आर produced okay so electricity or electric current is produced by the cell when the charges produced by the chemical in it are made to move through it thus a cell convert chemical energy into ab isme chemical tha to chemical energy thi aur hum logo ne torch mein lagaya to kis mein change ho gayi electrical energy mein in a cell the current always flow from पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू इट्स नेगेटिव टर्मिनल इसीलिए हम लोग एक के पीछे एक लगाते हैं पॉजिटिव से नेगेटिव में जाएगा जब हम लोग उल्टी बैटरी लगा देते हैं तो चार्जेस नहीं जाते हैं और हमारी टॉर्च नहीं जलती है ओके चिल्ड्रेन नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट बैटरी जब हम बहुत सारे सेल्स को एक साथ रखते हैं तो वो बैटरी का काम करता है ओके वेन टू और मोर आइडेंटिकल सेल्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज दे फॉर्म अ बैटरी ओके सो देर इज द एक्टिविटी ओवर है in presence of your parents then you can do this okay the cells and batteries last as long as the chemical inside them last hum log bolte hain na ye to cell kharab ho gaya to matlab kya bolte hain uska andar ka chemical bachcho khatam ho jata hai okay par kuch aaj hum log kya karte hain phone ko bar bar charge karte hain to yani ki usme kya hai wo rechargeable hai okay once the chemical of these batteries are consumed they need to be replaced with new one to ye aap replace kar dete ho inko bolte hain hum log primary batteries simple Simple dry batteries are the example of primary batteries, so which we are doing. Okay. सम एक्सेल्स आर रिचार्जेबल तो हम लोग अपने फोन में कैमराज में रिचार्ज करते हैं तो दे आर नोन एज सेकेंडरी सेल दे प्रोवाइड करंट एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ रिवर्सिबल केमिकल रिएक्शन एक क्या होता है सीधा सीधा रिएक्शन होता है खत्म हो जाता है सेल पर ये रिवर्सिबल मतलब होता रहता है अ ग्रुप ऑफ रिवर्सिबल और रिचार्जेबल सेकेंडरी सेल एक्टिंग एज अ यूनिट आर कॉल्ड अ सेकेंडरी बैटरी सो दिस इज हाउ बैटरी इज फॉर्म तो आपके पास क्या कौन सी बैटरी होती है लेड बैटरीज होती है निकिल आयरन बैटरी होती है निकिल कैडमियम बैटरी होती है गाड़ी में बैटरी होती है घर में बैटरीज होती हैं सो दिस इज हाउ यू आर यूजिंग इन मोबाइल फोन कंप्यूटर्स कैमराज एक्सेट्रा ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड ये ये भी जानी पहचानी बैटरी है फिर आजकल ये छोटे छोटे टॉयज की कॉइन बैटरी चल रही हैं फिर ये सोलर बैटरीज हैं यू कैन सी सोलर पैनल टुडे वी आर यूटिलाइजिंग सोलर एनर्जी टू कंडक्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आप लोगों ने कहाँ देखा होगा आप लोगों ने जहाँ पे बस स्टॉप्स होते हैं वहाँ देखा होगा नाका पे देखा होगा है ना वहाँ सब यू कैन सी दिस काइंड ऑफ पैनल्स ना लार्जर बैटरीज आर ऑल्सो यूज इन मेनी डिफरेंट प्लेसेज सच एज कार्स कंप्यूटर्स इन्वर्टर्स In scientific terms, a battery is a device that store chemical energy. Now you have understood till now so far that there is some chemical inside the batteries which produces charges, and these charges help in making the electric current. Okay, it is essentially a metallic can full of chemical. It produces electrons, negative charges to generate electricity. A chemical reaction that involves transfer of electrons is known as the electrochemical reaction. So, the what kind of reaction is going on in this battery? Come on, fast! You have to tell electrochemical reaction. So, children, you can go through this. there are alkaline batteries there are lithium cylinder batteries lithium coin type batteries and solar batteries okay so try to complete this checkpoint coming on this board this is benjamin franklin oh very great personality so what how he helped us what he discovered discovered positive and negative electric charges so somehow we should thank him for generating electricity for us isn't it otherwise we would not have been gained all these things for these years right he also invented the lightning rod franklin stove swimming fins biofocal lenses uh, for eye glasses and odometer so he was a great personality ye cheez dekhne ko mil rahi hai 
हर हर एक के घर में है दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अ बल्ब कितना छोटा है पर बहुत लाइट देता है इज इंट इट इज कॉल्ड एज इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब द टॉर्च हैज बल्ब हैज अ ग्लास चैम्बर ये दिस इज द ग्लास चैम्बर जो टूट जाता है कभी कभी बच्चों के हाथ से विच इज फिटेड ऑन द मेटालिक बेस दिस इज द मेटालिक बेस The glass chamber has a vacuum inside. That means there is no air, no water. जहाँ पे air नहीं होता water नहीं होता वो खाली जगह को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं Vacuum. हाँ A vacuum is a space that has no air or gas in it. The modern electric bulbs are usually filled with inert or inactive gases like argon. nitrogen to prolong the life of the tungsten filament now what is tungsten filament jo ye jalta hai na jo filament jalta hai wo tungsten ka bana hua hota hai jisko hum wire bhi bolte hain chhota sa okay so it is made up of what which element tungsten so you understood about what what is vacuum okay and wo how the modern bulb is formed and you understood about the filament also and the element is tungsten now coming to this point it is the filament in the bulb which glows when there is a flow of current through it and it gives off light okay yahan se electric current pass hota hai ye wires mein jata hai aur ye filament kya karta hai glow karne lagta hai it has a holder also metallic holder out of the two supporting wires one or is internally connected to the metallic case ek andar ki taraf se hota hai of the bulb the other wire is connected to the metallic tip of the base of the bulb aur dusra kya hota hai yahan pe tip pe laga hua hota hai so the metallic case and the metallic tip act as the two terminal of the bulb hamesha hame do terminal chahiye bachcho ye dekho do terminal hame chahiye hamesha current pass karne ke liye kyun kyunki do charges hote hain plus aur minus always keep it in your mind okay out of the two supporting wire one is internally connected metal case and the bulb of the bulb and the other wire is connected to the metallic tip of the bulb i think it is clear to you now जो तुम्हारे घर में बल्ब है वो इस तरीके का होता है तो हाउस होल्ड बल्ब ऑल्सो हैज अमिलर स्ट्रक्चर हाई वर द फिलमेंट ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ बल्ब इज फाइन कॉयल ऑफ थिन टन वायर एज शोन इन द फोटोग्राफ सो सिमिलर थिंग्स आर देयर The filament of the bulb is enclosed in a vacuum. ये vacuum है इसके अंदर कांच के अंदर because otherwise the metal wire would simply burn at high temperature when switched on if air were to be present in the bulb. अगर यहाँ पे air होती तो क्या होता ये जो filament है ये अपने आप जल जाता क्योंकि electricity का current जैसे ही pass होगा वो जल जाएगा इसीलिए अगर air pass हो जाती है तो हम बोलते हैं ना bulb फूट जाता है okay so coming to the next page now these are the battery or we will understand about the circuit okay these diagrams are very much important children see the battery is there two terminals are there blue wire red wire नेकेड वायर मतलब जहाँ पे कोटिंग नहीं होता है अगर कोटिंग नहीं होगा तो तुम लोगों को सीधा करंट लगेगा सो देर शुड बी ऑलवेज अ रबर और प्लास्टिक कोटिंग ओवर द वायर कनेक्टिंग वायर विद द प्लास्टिक कोटिंग ओके सो कनेक्टिंग टॉर्च बल्ब एज अ बैटरी ठीक है तो टू द बैटरी द बल्ब इज कनेक्टेड A torch bulb has two terminals and the battery has two terminals too. Can you say it is how the way the two terminals of the bulb can be connected to the two terminal of the battery? How you will connect? So there are four possible ways. How many ways? Four possible. Four both terminal of the battery are connected to the holder of the bulb as in circuit A. Well, how is the oh, attached? C in the circuit of the bulb. Yes, okay. Now the second is how they are in the bottom, both the wires, base. One is at this terminal and the other is at the base. So you can see these bulbs are not glowing because the circuit is not correct. As I have told you, one wire is here in the bulb and another wire is here. So for the battery, we have to attach them the same way. Similarly, if you will cross it, it doesn't matter. But it should be one above and one below because bulb has the wire attachment in the same way. So these are being connected. So you can see these will glow, but these will not, isn't it? 
okay so you can go through the activity and checkpoint now electric circuit batteries are storehouses of charges okay we have till now so far we have understood about batteries and charges electric current is the flow of charges from these batteries from these batteries what is flowing electric charges so that the bulb can glow Electric circuit is the combination of a battery connecting wire and the device to be operated. Battery, wire and the device to be operated. So, here we have to bulb operate the bulb. So, this makes the electric circuit. A bulb, they are connected in a manner to provide a complete path for the flow of charges from one terminal of the battery to the other through the device. In other words, an electric circuit is a combination of electric components in a manner to form a closed path. This should not be cracked. So that means it should be compactly packed. Okay? Though through the device. In other words, an electric circuit is a combination of electric components in a manner to form a closed path for the flow of electric current through them. When a complete electric current is connected across a battery, there is a flow of charges which constitute the movement of current from the positive terminal of the battery towards the negative terminal. Keep this always in mind children, from the positive to the negative terminal the current travels. In an electric circuit, the direction of the flow of current is always taken from positive terminal to the negative terminal of the battery through the circuit. Conventionally, the direction of the flow of the current is opposite to the direction of the flow of negatively charged electrons. Negatively charged electrons just direction mein ja rahe hai, flow of current uske ulti direction mein hota hai. Only when current passes through the filament of the bulb, it glows. Jab tak filament tak nahi pochega current, tab tak bulb glow nahi karega. Isn't it interesting? Now let us study the four electric circuits showed in the illustration. A, B, okay, is the circuit shown in 12.10. Now let us go back on the page where it is 10. We have already done this, right? Now coming to 12.12, okay, what it is written? What we can see that these are again attached to a single point over here. So no flow of current can be seen. These are attached to the two terminals of the bulb, isn't it? So current can flow. In the same way here, the current cannot flow because the wire are broken. So children, these are open circuit and closed circuit. So when it is fully closed circuit in a proper way, then only the bulb will glow. Otherwise, the bulb will not glow. Now what is the importance of electric switch? The very first point which we started the chapter. Switch is important why so in our houses we have switch to turn on and off the electric appliances of like the bulb this switch is connected in the path of the electric circuit between the sources of electricity and the appliances source of electricity is this battery and these are the appliances if they are attached in a proper way the bulb will glow if they will not be attached in a proper way the bulb will not glow isn't it now this nail will work as a switch switch is off why the wire is not not being properly attached to the nail and here the closed circuit you can see so until and unless there is no circuit of closed type then the appliances will not work okay children so this is the important of importance of switch go through the checkpoint now coming to electric circuit of the torch we have already done this how we have arranged the battery the current will flow from Positive to negative, then to this wire and this wire will help in glowing the bulb. So, the we will get the light, okay. Source of electricity of current is the cell or the battery, AC. Alternating current act as the source to supply current to the circuit. Connecting wires are there. Electrical devices, this uses up the current flowing in the circuit to produce heat or light. That is the bulb and a switch. This is the switch which you turn off or on every time. 
Okay, so these are the simple devices which you can see as the electric current can pass through it. The simplest circuit that can be designed using two batteries, a bulb, a switch and some connecting wires is that of torch. Okay children, this is the end of this torch topic because there are a much important topic which I have to discuss is conductor and insulator. So there is a difference between conductors and insulators. So what are conductors? See, these are certain materials which allow the electricity to pass through them. Why we use copper wires? Because it allows the electricity to pass through them. So aluminium, copper, brass, iron, silver, gold, these are some of the material which allow the electricity to pass through them. These are called as conductors. In the other hand, insulators okay why you are told to wear rubber slippers while handling some of the wires because they are the bad conductor of electricity so wood plastic rubber glass thermocol they are known to be as insulators because they do not allow electricity to pass through them and you will not get any shock while wearing the rubber gloves okay so it is very much important for an electrician while doing something with the electric switches wires to wear the rubber gloves okay can you now say why we use a nail made of iron to make a switch in activity 4 it is because iron is a conducting material okay that's why only that nail was used nothing else was used over there so whatever you see in your houses is covered with plastic so that you don't catch the current okay we could have used a key or a safety pin made of iron so we have to use iron object so that it can conduct electricity so conductors and insulators are two important part of the electric current Conductors are used to make electric wires, electric appliances. You must have seen the electric tools like screwdrivers, pliers have a plastic coating. Why? So that we are safeguard from the electric shocks. Now children, this is the checkpoint related to the above material and stuff and go through these points to remember. Thank you. Thank you very much.